In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up and how you can use the Exodus wallet to store your Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency offline. This is one of the best wallets that you can use. It's super beginner friendly and I'll walk you through everything in this video. So the first thing you need to do, you need to go to the Exodus website. So you can either get there by going to exodus.com or do a Google search for the Exodus wallet and you should see it here. Don't download it from anywhere else but the Exodus website, which is www.exodus.com. So once you're on the Exodus wallet, you can read a bit more about it. Um, it's a Bitcoin and crypto wallet. And you can also obviously see the interface here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to click on get Exodus now. And it's going to give us two versions. We've got the desktop version and the mobile version. Now this is an offline wallet, remember, so we are going to need to download it. So I'm going to download it to the desktop. So I'm just going to download it here for Windows. Right, so now we've got the installation wizard installed. I'm just going to run that. You can see it's now opened and it is now installing Exodus. And now we get a message saying Exodus has been installed. You can run it by clicking on the shortcut on your desktop. Now I've hidden my, my icons here. So I'm gonna to go to the start menu and just type in Exodus. So here it is. Uh, we can now go ahead and open that. And that should just, just simply open up the wallet. Now for me, it says welcome back. It must have remembered my wallet from before. So I'm going to log in, but for you, you will go ahead and create a new wallet. Okay, so here we are inside of the Exodus wallet. You can see I'm in my wallet and it's got it's got Bitcoin in already and because it's a previous wallet, but yours will obviously say zero. Now on the home screen here, you've got your portfolio. We're gonna start there. Now that will tell you what you've got in this wallet. So you can see if we hover over it, I've got one asset and that is just Bitcoin. So if we scroll down here, you can see the current price of all of these different cryptocurrencies. This is just an overview of it really. It doesn't really tell you much information about your portfolio, except from the value here and the amount of Bitcoin I've got in my case. So that's pretty much all there is on this page. If you keep scrolling down, you can add more coins, um, but we won't get into that. So then next up, you've got wallet. Now, if you click on wallet, you're going to see here your different um, cryptocurrency wallets. Now, these are going to be helpful if you want to send and receive the coins. So I've got my Bitcoin wallet here because we're on the Bitcoin tab. And if I wanted to receive Bitcoin, I could click on receive. And that would open up this window where I could copy my Bitcoin address. And this address, I would then give that to friends and family if they're trying to send me Bitcoin or if I'm trying to withdraw Bitcoin from Coinbase, this will be the address that I use and I send my Bitcoin to, and that will come straight into my wallet then. Alternatively, if I'm trying to receive Ethereum, I can click receive, and here I can get my Ethereum address, and so on and so forth. Then scrolling down even more, you've got your activity, and that's pretty much the only thing that's useful on this window. Then moving to the right again, you've got the exchange. Now this allows you to exchange your cryptocurrencies into into others now you can't buy crypto using this window you can only exchange one crypto for another so i could exchange here bitcoin for ethereum i would just type in how much i want to exchange here obviously i don't have that much bitcoin and then i could um, do that if i had enough in my balance you can't buy bitcoin from here though if you wanted to buy bitcoin i'd recommend you do it through coinbase or binance if you do it through Coinbase and you buy $100 worth of Bitcoin, then you're going to get $10 free if you haven't signed up already. So I'll leave a link in the description. And then moving on more, you've got Exodus shares, which I'm not going to cover in this video. So the first thing that I would recommend that you do, and this is important, make sure you go to um, settings, make sure that you enter a password here and you set up your recovery phrase and you write it down. So before you put any money into exodus make sure you've got a password and make sure you know your recovery phrase now i'm going to click on view secret phrase here now your secret phrase will look something like this and you need to make sure that you write it down because for whatever reason if your hard drive gets corrupted if your computer gets stolen for whatever reason if you've got your 12 word secret phrase wrote down on a bit of paper you can re-download exodus onto any computer and you can recover your wallet using this 12 word phrase so it's super important please write it down and please don't forget it because this is an offline wallet you're in charge of your cryptocurrency so you have to remember this phrase apart from that once you've done that that's pretty much all we need to know about the wallet uh, again receiving you go to wallet 
and you go to the coin you want to receive, you can click receive. You can also send Bitcoin as well, and you'll just enter in the address you want to send it to here. And that's pretty much it. So that's how you can use the Exodus wallet. Make sure you watch this video here if it's interesting. Subscribe for more crypto videos and leave a like if, if it was helpful.